<laughs> we tuck the headliner in with my vaccination card. That's right. Yeah, so it's now it's <laughs> ready. <laughs> how, how's, how's it shipped in and, and all that? Okay, okay, not great, but okay. <laughs> there you go. All right, driving through the tunnel at two in the morning. I'm uh, pretty much back in Istanbul after a really long drive. So I'm here with Ibeck in Istanbul. Hey. At, I mean, we're, this, where are we right now? We're in like this sort of car centric part of the city. Yeah, it's called the car industrial area. Uh, basically, you know, you have repair shops, service shops, modification shops. And this is the most famous one in pretty much all of Turkey. Where, I mean, if any rare car, you're gonna find it here. It's pretty crazy to see this in Istanbul. You know, this Detroit iron here. Oh, what, what the heck is that? <laughs> some sort of buggy of some sort. And there's wow. like old 40s Lincoln or Ford behind it. Oh yeah, wow. So yeah, like I said, anything <gasps> weird, you're gonna oh. find it here. What, what is that? There? <laughs> oh my gosh, what the? It's an old Mercedes. Oh, millimeters from that Jaguar. Look at how tight that is. <laughs> A Trans Am, what is that doing here? <laughs> old dusty Trans Am. That's epic. Oh, an XJ, holy crap. That's a diesel? Oh my goodness, look at that XJ. Man, that thing is beat. That poor XJ needs some love. I bet I can fix that. So, what? A Soho? What? No. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what is happening in Istanbul? Look at that freaking Jeep right there. What in the? I think that's a, a trike. No, it's too long to be a CJ7. Is it a CJ8 Scrambler? Look at this, another Tahoe. Oh, there we Whoa, go. Modified. It's a beautiful Volkswagen. Oh, oh, yeah. Well. So. People love these old Beatles. Yeah. Whatever this is, the Soto truck with like a little Chrysler badge on the front. This scene does not look like Turkey right here. I know. Right? <laughs> <laughs> look at all these Grand Cherokee CJ, ridiculous with Chryslers, and there's a Ford Explorer over here. There's a CJ with a steel bumper on it. Yeah. There's a Mondeo. There's an XJ, beat up XJ. But yeah. I think that's what they were restoring. Oh, it's freaking beautiful. What's this first off? Oh shit. I think that's, I think it's a Suzuki Maroon. Let me check. Let me see. God, I love it. It's got so much soul. That little thing. Is it? Yeah, it's a Suzuki Alto. My bad. It's wow, Alto. look at that little thing. I'm going to explain why this Volkswagen Touareg costs roughly three hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> so Turkey has um, it's literally called special consumption tax on cars, and it changes based on how big the engine is. So this is the top tax bracket with a three liter. Once you're over two liters, they take the base price of the car and then they put a 220% tax on top of it. Okay. And then they lump that in with the car's price and then you have an 18% VAT on top of that. So you use an Audi A8L, very nice car that I think in the US would sell for just a bit over a hundred grand. Ibeck, you, uh, you did a conversion. $435,000. <laughs> Four hundred and thirty-five thousand dollars. All right, I, I, uh, what are we, what are we looking at price-wise here? So this Cayenne is five point two million Turkish lira, which is roughly six hundred thousand. Six hundred thousand dollars for a three hundred and forty horsepower. Yeah, base Cayenne. level Cayenne. Six hundred large, man. Okay, well, here we are heading back into Bulgaria from Turkey. All right, well, it's 90 degrees outside. Yeah, the cooling system is working really well. The car's not overheating at all. The air conditioning doesn't work, so I myself am sweating my balls off. All right, we are approaching the city of Sofia, Bulgaria, where I will be staying the night and just generally exploring. We're in Sofia, Bulgaria, the capital of Bulgaria in uh, one of the largest churches maybe in the Balkans. This is my Panda Alessi. Yeah, we're gonna look at there, that. Which uh, I'm very proud of it. Oh, I'm excited. It's to... uh, very, very limited. Yeah. This is an extremely obscure car <laughs> that he is obsessed with. And uh, uh, yeah. he's going to describe why it's so obscure. Where, where did this car debut? Uh, so this car debuted uh, on a Tokyo Motor Show, Home Appliance Show. <laughs> Home Appliance Show. Uh, yeah, because it's, uh, it's a cooperation made between Fiat and Alessi, which is a famous industrial designer in Italy. So could you get um, a Panda in this color scheme at all, or is this no, specific? No, it's just LSE and just for a couple of months. Uh, I feel like most people have no idea this ever existed, they right? Have no idea. <laughs> all these panels, so this unique, is unique, unique right? Unique. The orange. 
all ev everything uh, the whole team is unique for the, the, Wait, the car did you know you're a car journalist when your holy grail car is a, basically a normal panda but a little bit different okay so now i'm leaving bulgaria entering serbia so and it's during daytime so i can have a, really have a good look at what this that shit show was that i was sitting in a few days ago heading into bulgaria so there you can see the checkpoint there see all the cars i'm just gonna drive and you'll see just how long this huge line is I had to guess it's a roughly two mile long line from Serbia into Bulgaria. It's just rough. We are rolling into Belgrade. Looks pretty dang big. I'm here in Belgrade, Serbia with Dragoslav, who is a, a little bit higher than I am in elevation. Um, and uh, we're gonna look at some cars. This is like the first car we see here. Yeah, Lada Niva, and in good shape. Beautiful. I think it's older model and some Volkswagen transporter. Oh, this it's thing's cool. Step. Wow, seat six, huh? Gosh, look at this thing. It's epic. Here, you gotta stand next to it. Wow. So air-cooled 750cc in the, yeah. in the no, rear. No, no, it's water-cooled. Is it? But it's in the, in the rear. What? This thing looks really cool though. I, I really like this thing. Wow. It's really shitty. <laughs> but that's okay that's soul right it is cool all right let's walk down the street so this is a yugo so in the u.s i don't think they sold a sedan right no no but it's uh, older than yugo this was before this was before that it yeah, came to the u.s a gentleman named milenko is working on his yugo on the side of the road can you ask how long he's owned it and what it's been like to to own it has it been reliable and uh -huh. He owned it for 30 years. Wow. He is the first owner. Wow. Then he also He says that every screw, every it's there is nothing left from the original car. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh -huh. He used it to transport furniture. Furniture on the roof? Oh, well, so this is a hard-working car, huh? And it's held up for over 30 years. Yeah. What's it like driving this van as a six-foot-five guy? Yeah, it's okay. Not too uh, bad? That hit my hair, here, but now we, we fixed that. We tucked it in. Yeah, it's your vaccination card, so... <laughs> <laughs> we tucked the headliner in with my vaccination card. That's right. Yeah, so it's now it's <laughs> great. Yeah. Maybe six centimeters. Yeah, it's okay. How's, how's the shifting and, and all that? Okay, okay, not great, but okay. <laughs> there you go. This is a car collection here in Belgrade. A lot of cool stuff. All sorts of different stuff in here. Skoda right here. Old Ford Model T. And is that a uh, Reliant? Man, that thing's cool. Sure looks like one. Reliant Supervan 3. Look at this cutaway. It's like a whole car. It starts with the steering wheel. You've got this, the worm gear here for the steering. There's the pitman arm and it rotates the wheels back and forth. Here it looks something from driving school or something like that. Engineering school. Yeah, right. Look, timing chain. Here are the push rods. Four cylinder engine. There's a clutch. Manual transmission. Drive shaft. I'd love to have that cutaway right there, just in yes. my house. We're here <laughs> in Belgrade with Bilana and Dragoslav, and uh, we're consuming some incredible, what is this exactly, Belana? Pancakes. Yes. Our way. So this is uh, this is plum, which actually I, I kind of liked. <laughs> and then uh, strawberry. strawberry. And yeah, these are kind of popular here, or? Yeah, it's poor man's dish. Poor man, good poor man's dish, yeah, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this is this is mine, it's I'm gonna. It's quick to, to make. It's, it's sort of like a crepe, kind of? Yeah. Anyway, there it is. So I'm back in Germany, 3,500 miles to Turkey and back. The van didn't even burn a single drop of oil. And 
it actually got better. Instead of breaking, it improved because the air conditioning now works thanks to a little shop in Serbia. Right now, the thing is transporting lots of plants. Look at this, it's even got a trailer. The diesel torque will tow.